Hello Leo and thanks for joining me for uh, the February Taroscope. When I said hello Leo, I heard the uh, runaways, cherry bomb. Hello girl, I'm your wild girl or something. I can't say, I'm not quite getting those lyrics correct, but hello world, I'm your wild girl. So I, I know a lot of you Leos are pretty wild, but <laughs> maybe this is going to be a wild month for you. We're just coming off as we enter this month we're just coming off of the Leo full moon in your sign on the 28th of January so maybe things got a little wild for you <laughs> during that time we're gonna do the reading with the that brand new second edition of the rock and roll tarot deck you can find out if you're interested in getting that for yourself or just the box then we're gonna follow up with a card from the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards if you're a level 2 Patreon person we're gonna do a um, three card spread from the Sacred Geometry uh, cards also. Oh, by the way, the basket is gone. And I created this sacred vessel. Um, there's layers and layers of intention and energy put into this. And I do a little tutorial video too. So if you wanted to create a sacred vessel for your cards or for your stones or your jewelry, you, know, you can show you how to do that. Okay, this is the reading for Leo. I almost said loyal. And Leos are very loyal, but this is for Leo Sun sign, Leo Rising, and Leo Moon. Yeah, my deck, uh, this is my first demo deck of the second um, edition. And it's got the old funky um, King of Cups in it. Of course, if you purchase it, it won't be like that. But this has, it's got that old uh, coloring in it. There was one card that I missed, and then I had to go back and change it. But I just real quick, if you want to look, look at the difference. I just like it so much better. You know, it's very much toned down. The cup suits doesn't have that harsh line going through the center. But I digress. Um, so this is for Leo Sun's Rising and Moon. First card out was the Hermit. So, I mean, everybody's being the Hermit these days with the shutdown. That's nothing new. But Hermit can also be like, um, it's deeper than that. It's not just I'm being a Hermit, I'm not going by people. Hermit is this deep subconscious you know really tuning in especially because you have not only the hermit but you have the high priestess right below it another card of big time intuition going within getting some kind of retrospect getting some kind of knowledge some kind of downloads or things like that it does seem like there is some sort of celebration coming up that you'd be able to attend or this can also talk about holidays now during February, when I think of a holiday, is you know, St. Patrick, not St. Patrick's Day, St. Valentine's Day. It's funny that I said St. Patrick's Day by accident, though, because sometimes when I say things by accident, they can actually be, um, it can be a message. So don't discard, there may be something coming up St. Patrick's Day, which is, of course is next month in March. So, you know, there could be something coming up uh, that way. Um, does seem like there's some kind of has something to be happy and celebrate over, even if you're not gathering together with your friends. Um, some of you are going to have a reconciliation. Somebody's coming back to you that's been taken away. And you might meet them through an, another group of friends or some kind of thing where you're, you know, it's like, oh, and then you're just like, oh, I remember you, or why, why did I stop talking to that person, or why did we stop hanging out, or we used to have so much fun together. It could be something like that. For some of you, maybe you're going back to work even. If you have if you have a real good relationship with like your co-workers, it seems like it's a tiny bit crooked. Let's see if we can fix it. There we go. If you have a really good relationship with your co-workers and you guys are all friends and everything, then this could be like maybe you're going back to work and you're going to see your friends again or school, and it's going to be nice in that way. The King of Cups is really important. He's in the central position. So the King of Cups is a water sign energy, whether it's male or female. Uh, the water signs being Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. Now we are moving, and you have a King of Swords here too, who may be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. During the month of February, we move from air, Aquarius, into water, Pisces, air to water. So these are the time frames of this month. Now the Pisces... Um, we did, this transition occurs around the 18th, so it could be something coming through around that around that time frame of the 18th. The high priestess is here. You just got a feeling about this person. You just got a feeling. You just got a vibe. You just feel like there's something. I think that we're going to be good friends. I think we can really work together. I think we have like a future together. We can move into the future together. And that is true. 
This person is a great partner for you. This is, even though they're water and you're fire, you know, fire and water, but it's, um, there's something about this person. You're going to have a lot of fun together, and you're, it's a great partnership. Even if it's a work relationship, I feel like you're going to have a lot of fun together. We move down here. This King of Swords is down here. Also a great, you know, looks like a very favorable and positive person in your, um, in your life. Often the King of Swords may have something to do with legal law and legal matters. They may be negotiating a contract or, um, you know, some kind of legal law paperwork that might have to happen there. The Three of Rods is a, um, your ships are coming in. Your ships are coming in. You're going to get some success. Um, and the Hierophant is here. So this is through some sort of big structured thing. You know, when I said structured, I almost wanted to say structured settlement. So that might be true for some people, structured settlement. The other thing, though, um, it might be through like a big government or some kind of big company. You know, something along those lines. Um, a big... Uh, this group five, group five. <sighs> it feels there's something about that that's standing out to me. I'm not exactly sure, but it feels like it's your section. Like group five would be like, well, this is my, uh, I'm in group five. You know, it, it might not be called that. You know, you might not say I'm in group five, quote unquote, but if I'm seeing like, um, I'm also seeing it almost as like floors on a building. So this is, group, or level five, that's what I'm trying to say, maybe like level five. You know, like this is my level, this is my group, this is the ones that I'm, I'm associated with. Okay, let's go ahead and get shuffling on our, our animal totem card for our Leo friends for the month, our wild child. Your wild girls out there <laughs> and guys. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see what's going on for animal totems for you guys. Oh, you got it, the wasp. Mm. Wasp can be stinging. You have to kind of be aware of the wasp. Um, let me turn the bright light on for a second here. Uh, fearless warrior of spirit of the sky. Shamanic healing transformation. Stinging, attacking, fighting the good fight. Impassioned action makes dreams come true. Okay. So impassioned action, I mean, that's nothing, I mean, you've got that down all day, Leo, that's totally your, that's your jam, right? Your impassioned action, Leo's like, yeah, that's me. Um, you may have to be a little fierce and a little ruthless. I feel like for some of this, like, there could be a lot of competition. Like, whatever this is, like, there's a lot of competition for the same thing. For some of you, this might be some kind of a real estate thing. This just came to me. Like maybe this is some big development that's going to be, you know, coming in or some big condo. Because I'm seeing the levels of the floors, you know, the multi-level floors again. So it might be like some kind of big condo or office building that's going to be being built. And you want to get in there and be the one to sell the unit, you know. Because I feel like whatever it is, once you're in there, it's like bam, 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 bam. So if it, say, let's just use real estate as an analogy, it could be anything. But, like, you get the contract to sell all of them, and then they're selling, like, hotcakes. You know, it's like, it's just getting your foot in the door. That's the important part of it. And it definitely looks like the door is open. You're getting your foot in, in the door, and the door is opening, you know, for you um, this month, Leo. There's going to be lots to celebrate. Okay, so this is the reading. Um... Look at it. Let these words kind of move around and, you know, talk to you. If you see a word pop out, that's how you can absolutely get a message that is just for you. Um, as for me, I don't have any special readings that I'm offering at this time frame, but there's, a, there's readings available on my site for sure, and you can check that out if you're interested. I also was um, broke this book out again. I don't know if you've, any of you have read it, but if you want some higher guidance, uh, communicate it in a nice and easy way. Like, if you enjoy the way I talk in my readings, then you may enjoy my book of, of channel information and questions and channel information, Transmissions for Humanity. B book two is, you know, way underway. I mean, I'm coming to closing up with book two, and there's no signs of stopping. So this is going to be an ongoing thing. I appreciate everybody who's already looked at the book and enjoyed it. And um, thank you all so much for supporting me in every way that you do by liking and sharing and commenting you can hit the subscribe button in the lower right any information is below this video i have extensive uh, information on the different links that we uh, that to 
If you need want to get a hold of me in any way or you want to purchase any of the things that I'm offering, it's all down there in the bottom. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember you are love and beauty incarnate and have a great month of February and we'll talk to you soon.